What's up everybody? Kate the Bearded Samsung Pro and today I want to show you how you can play cloud-based gaming on your Samsung Tab S7 Plus. Now specifically I'm going to focus in on Google Stadia as we know at the launch Microsoft Xbox Game Pass was announced as part of the launch with Samsung Tab S7 Plus which is pretty cool. Uh, looking forward to getting to try that out. But I'm a big fan of Stadia and I've been using Stadia from the beginning uh, for most of my gaming experience now. Um, now, what's really cool is you do not have to have a Google Stadia controller to be able to play Google Stadia on your Samsung Tab S7. So today I'm gonna show you not only how to get it working, but then a little bit of the gameplay and a couple different formats that you can use so you can start playing Google Stadia for yourself. So let's go ahead and get the Stadia app open. We're gonna go ahead and come in here and launch Stadia. One of the first things that you're gonna notice is you can't play it on the Samsung Tab S7 Plus. So this is not one of the official Stadia supported devices yet. However, that doesn't mean that we can't play. So I'm gonna show you first how to actually get your Samsung Tab S7 Plus to the point where it can play Stadia. And it's actually pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and start by clicking on our profile picture up here. Once we've done that, we're gonna click Experiments. And then right here at the top, you're gonna to see Play on this device. Support for this mobile device is in development. Using this feature may affect game performance. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't noticed any problems yet playing this. So hopefully that'll continue on. So I'm gonna start first by showing you how to connect your controller. So we're gonna come up here to Link Controller. This is gonna give us our code. We'll turn on our controller here. All right, and now as you can see, we entered that code and we're linked now. So this is pretty cool. Now I can actually control with the Stadia controller once we pop into a game. We'll go ahead and just do hit command. I'll tell you right now, um, I'm a little, little slow on the gaming, so I'm probably not gonna do that great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, Let's just jump right into it. As you can see, I'm using this uh, to control everything that's happening on the screen. And this all actually goes, this all actually goes over Wi-Fi. So my controller here is connected to the Wi-Fi, as is my device. This helps reduce the latency so that when I'm actually hitting buttons here, I don't notice it when I'm actually playing the game. It's pretty cool technology. Uh, something I've been really excited about, and uh, if you guys haven't given Google Stadia a go yet, I highly encourage that you do. Well, let's go ahead and jump in and see how, how it looks, how it plays. Now, one of the cool things I will tell you is playing games, any games, on this screen and with this sound is absolutely awesome. This screen is gorgeous. Definitely one of the best screens that I've ever had. Uh, really, the best screen ever that's been on a tablet um, in or a mobile phone, the 120 hertz is gorgeous, makes for great refresh rates. Let's go ahead and crank this up and see how it sounds. All right, and we're in. I probably have, I think I have my gun out. Oh crap. Yeah, I told you, I'm not very good. I have no idea what's going on. We'll just shoot a couple people. I'm gonna die. You know what though? It's not about how good you play the game. It's about the fact that you can play the game. So this is pretty cool. So this is one variation is using the controller. So now let's see what it does when we actually start the game without a controller attached. So it's gonna let us know there's no controller found. We're gonna click this try touch pad touch gamepad here, you'll see it creates a virtual gamepad here. So I have all my buttons down here, my right and left joystick, or I'm sorry, my right two joysticks here, my left two over here, up, down, and my toggles as well. All right, so let's jump right in and see how this works. All right, I'm gonna try to keep it at this odd angle. Again, don't judge me on my uh, terrible playing skills. I'm not that great and I'm okay with that. So I think this time we're going to do away without pulling out the gun right away. This is uh, 
a little odd. I'm, I'm not used to playing on the mobile, so this is going to take me a ooh, second to get used to. They're very responsive, more so than I almost thought they would be. I'm going to probably make somebody sick here. Trying to pull up my weapon. Yeah, let's get that bad boy out. Let's just start shooting some people. How's that sound? Alright. So if you're as bad as me, probably don't want to do this. Alright guys, so obviously I'm not very good at video games. Yep. Not going to change my career now. But that's what it looks like to play using the touchpads that are actually on the tablet itself. I want to try one other variation. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyways. And I want to see if using the keyboard cover case will allow me to use your traditional AWSD configuration. So let's go ahead and try that now. So I've got the keyboard case connected now, and let's go ahead and see if this will actually allow us to use the keyboard uh, instead of the touchpad or even a game controller as well. Hmm. So it's telling us we need to use some sort of gamepad. We're going to try, we'll hit try touch gamepad and let's just see what happens here. All right. Unfortunately, it looks like it's not working. Uh, if I'm mistaken you're, or you guys know a workaround to this, let me know. Go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. But uh, otherwise, hope this is helpful just to give you a little picture into what it looks like to use the Google Stadia with your Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. It's definitely worth taking a look at if you do have one of these devices. I'll go ahead and drop a link down below so that you can get the Google Stadia for yourself and give it a whirl. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts were. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for checking in. We'll talk to you soon.